The recent Byzantine campaign in North Africa went well. A large strip of the African coast has been restored to imperial control, and the success has emboldened the Emperor Justinian to continue working towards his dream, the reconquest of Rome and restoration of the empire. Controlled by the Germans since 476, Italy is now under the control of a craven and incompetent ruler, King Theodahad the Ostrogoth. The Byzantine general, Belisarius, has been ordered to land with his army in southern Italy and drive this feeble pretender out of Rome once and for all. But it won't be easy. His troops will have to be improved, and heroic efforts will be required. The voyage from Carthage went well, and the Byzantine troops under Belisarius have disembarked in Italy. It is time to prepare to meet the Ostrogoths in battle. have launched a surprise attack. But where are the axes of their deadly huskar? The huskarls carry shock weapons. You can improve the shock armor of your troops so that they are better protected for the next battle. To purchase improvements for your short swordmen, select any one of them. At lower left, in the unit information area, you can see the attributes that short swordmen possess. Pass the mouse pointer over the different button icons to see what each attribute is. The helmet icon represents shock armor. Click on it to improve the shock armor of all your short swordmen. Note that improvements cost you resources. When the research for the improvement is complete, the number after the plus sign for shock armor increases to show by how much it has improved. Good. Now, to better prepare your troops to fight the enemy shock units, purchase at least one more improvement in shock armor for your short swordmen. Each attribute has a maximum amount that it can be improved by. For some units, some attributes cannot be improved at all. Select a unit for which you bought improvements. Notice the large white number on its unit portrait. This is the step number. Armor improvements count as one step, and all other improvements count as two. When the step number reaches ten, you have bought the maximum number of total improvements for that type of unit. So purchase improvements wisely. If you wish, you can also purchase unit improvements for your other troops. Improvements you can purchase include attack, different types of armor, hit points, speed, and range. The available attributes and improvements vary according to what type of unit it is. When you are satisfied with your purchases, or run out of resources, it is time to advance on the city of Rome. Ready, my lord. Ready, my lord. Ready, my lord. Pause. Ready, my lord. Ready, my lord. Ready, my lord. Sire. Ready, my lord. Attack the shot of the king. Steel. Sire. Pause. Emoid. Ready, my lord. king. Pause. Emoid. Ready, my lord. For the king. Pause. Emoid. Ready, my lord. For the king. Ready, my lord. With all my heart. Emoid. Sire. Sire. With all my heart. Ready, my lord, with all my heart. 
Excellent. We have defeated the barbarian army defending Rome. Let us enter the city in triumph. Your short swords have been wiped out. Fortunately, a transport with reinforcements has just arrived from Carthage. Ready for the king! Ready, my sire! With all my heart! Belisarius is being greeted as the savior of Rome. The citizens have paid a tribute in gold, wood, and food. And all of the buildings have been surrendered to you, except for the sacred walls of Rome, the ancient Roman Forum, and the Temple of Zeus. These must be left under the control of the local populace. Hailed as the liberator of Rome, Belisarius has become a hero. Heroes have special capabilities in battle, and soon you will learn about them. The people have spoken. Reports indicate that an army of Ostrogoths has come down from the north and is threatening to cut off access to our vital northern roads. The new Ostrogothic attack must be crushed. It is time for the new hero, Belisarius, to be put into action. There are two different types of heroes, warriors and strategists. Belisarius has become a warrior hero. When you bring him near friendly units, you'll see a morale indicator appear at the feet of the nearby units. This morale works the same way as the morale produced by houses around a capital. For each point of morale felt by a unit, the unit takes less damage in battle and thus can survive longer. Warrior heroes are strong fighters and they even heal their own wounds. The, people have the city workmen have repaired the Aurelian gates leading to the north. Bring your troops out of Rome to fight the new Gothic army now. Then you can see your hero's new abilities at work in combat. Gothic invasion has been repulsed. Well done. Now it is time to move Rome into a new epic of opportunity. Select your town center in Rome, and you'll see that the epic research button has become available. Click the epic 5 button to begin the research for the epic advancement. Select each of your military buildings now, and take note of the units that are available to you. When you enter the next epic, you will have new options. Attack with sharpened steel, with all my heart. Ready, my lord. Sire. Yes, Greek one. 
ready, my lord. Rome has entered a new age, but enemies from abroad still threaten the city. Look at the three military buildings in Rome by selecting each of them in turn, starting with the stable. In the stable, your horsemen can be upgraded to more modern cataphracts. Select the archery range. In the archery range, crossbows have now become available. Javelins can be upgraded to pilum, and simple bowmen can be upgraded to composite bowmen. In the barracks, there are currently no upgrades available. Some units are available, but for now return to the archery range. At the archery range, upgrade your javelins into pilum by clicking on the appropriate upgrade button. Notice that the upgrade button disappears, and the pilum button replaces the javelin button once research for the upgrade is complete. Good. The upgrade is complete. Now look at your units on the map. The ones that were Where formerly javelins get? have become the more advanced pylon unit. Upgrades allow you to keep your units up to date, right which will help you defend Rome. And upgrades yes, carry over the improvements of their predecessors. You have brought the glory of the Byzantine Age to Rome, and you have provided for the defense of the city. Belisarius's work in Italy is now done, and he has been summoned back to Constantinople. Although the Ostrogoths fought courageously to hold on to Italy, much of the peninsula remained under Byzantine control until 774. In that year, Frankish armies finally succeeded in conquering northern Italy. Belisarius has long departed the shores of Italy. Now a new hero has arisen to defend Rome. Select your town center now, and you'll see that you can create a hero there. The new hero available to you is Charlemagne. Click on the Charlemagne button to commence his training. Where should I go? Ready, my lord. I am. While you are waiting for Charlemagne to be trained, it's a good opportunity to build up your army. Rome has many enemies, and a good mix of different unit types will be needed to defend her in this dangerous time. Consider improving your units too. Charlemagne is a strategist hero. His special ability is called the Battle Cry. Select him now and you'll see the Battle Cry button at the bottom of the screen. Click on the Battle Cry button and your mouse pointer will become a bolt of lightning. If you click with the lightning bolt pointer near enemy units, they receive a temporary decrease in morale. This causes them to take more damage from your attacking units. For now, if your pointer is a lightning bolt, click on the Cancel Action button at the bottom of the screen, and the normal pointer will be restored to you. Save that battle cry for an actual combat situation. The hero must have a full charge of power to produce a battle cry. Power slowly recharges itself over time and is measured by the blue bar above the hero's head when he's selected. Strategist heroes also have the ability to increase the stamina of friendly units that are near them. Strategists restore most of a unit's hit points if they've suffered damage in battle. Like the warrior, strategists can self-heal. But right now, the Lombards are threatening Rome. Bring Charlemagne out of the city along with the rest of your army. His new abilities will help you greatly, but by themselves they aren't enough to defeat your enemies. You will need to use everything you have learned about tactics and unit improvements to prevail. 
Good luck. The future of Western Europe depends on you. Ready, my lord. To victory! Attack with sharp and steel! To victory! Where should I Honor. go? For honor and glory. Yes, Lord. For God and country. Ready, Sire. my lord. For the king. Where Ready, should I go? To victory! Sire, we will kill Where should I go? Well done. The Lombards have been soundly defeated. Charlemagne has been enthroned as the first Holy Roman Emperor. His influence over Europe is now sure to be felt for many centuries to come. <laughs>